I'm trying to hold off on doubling up on sneakers, but here's one I couldn't resist, and it's the Air Max 90 dubbed as the Bacon Air Max 90s. And personally, I think it's a sneaker that's been slept on, underrated, whatever you want to call it. it certainly needs more respect because it definitely is a classic. Jumping right into things, I got one pair off of Nike sneakers and then another pair on the resale market, specifically from eBay. And if you're interested in buying a pair, I'll drop some affiliate links down in the description below. If you decide to purchase using those links, it definitely supports the channel. While I'm plugging things too, be sure to follow me on Instagram, I'm posting content way before these YouTube videos, and then also check out some other links in the description like my eBay page because I'm selling a lot of the sneakers that I'm buying. So if you're an Air Max collector or really just a Nike aficionado, the Bacon Air Max 90 personally is one that I think you should have in your collection. In case you didn't know, these were originally designed in collaboration with David Ortiz from Dave's Quality Meat in 2004, and Nike decided to bring back this colorway and design in 2021 to celebrate Air Max Day, which is March 26th. And if you don't know, this sneaker was inspired by the Dave's Quality Meat Boutique, or DQM, which took on the appearance of a butcher shop. The boutique's no longer in business, which is sad, but if you check out this Complex Sneakers podcast episode, he describes more insight into the shop, his history with Nike, etc., all that good stuff. Taking a look at the box label on these sneakers, they are Nike Air Max 90 NRG, in a colorway of sail, sheen, straw, and medium brown, and they had a retail price of $140. US dollars. So like I mentioned, these sneakers are inspired by bacon, you know, tying to the butcher shop theme, and the various reds, pinks, and off-white cream colors represent the different stages of meat while being cooked. You could find all those various colors throughout the uppers, and they're in a blend of synthetic leathers, new bucks, and suede's. While personally I think it's an attractive sneaker, I know a lot of people weren't pleased with the dodgy quality on these. From a material standpoint, I think the materials are whatever since it's a sneaker that's meant to be worn anyway, but it's more so the little details. On my pairs, there is some mismatched leathers in that there was a tumbled leather on one and then the other shoe had like a smoother leather on And then I know a lot of people on Twitter and the internet generally just cited flaws and cuts and stitches on the suede's. I think the biggest thing though were the various pen marks. One of mine had like the slightest hit of pen mark, but I know others had it way, way worse. Back to the sneaker though, there's a white midsole with brown paint at the air unit, and then inside that air unit is a pink colored airbag. The outsole has this brown color, and that traditional Air Max 90 waffle-like traction pattern. Overall comfort is decent, you know, the Air Max 90 was once pinnacle tech back in the 90s, but now it's really evolved into more of a retro lifestyle everyday wear. And then speaking of comfort, sizing kind of go hand in hand, I personally went true to size and I felt that was perfect for me. I think Nike has been more consistent with recent Air Max 90s, I know in the past I found sizing to be a little dodgy. And then some extras that you can expect with these sneakers are these arch supports, additional lace options, and then really just this premium feeling pullout style black Nike box. Overall I think this is a super dope pair of sneakers, I love the color blocking on these. And generally speaking as well, you can't ever really beat an Air Max 90. For those of you that don't know, the Air Max 90 debuted back in 1990 and was a design by Tinker Hatfield. They recently celebrated 30 years of existence in 2020, so this is a fitting release. I'm also glad they revived this bacon pair just because there's no way that I was going to go back and find a pair from 2004, and even so, they'd probably be falling apart. If you like this pair of bacon Air Max 90s, be sure to check out some other videos on my channel of some meat-inspired sneakers. Pause. But that pretty much wraps up this video, let me know what you guys think of this pair, are you feeling them or not? And if you like content like this, let me know by showing some support, whether it's commenting, liking, or subscribing to the channel.